Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. This is the 11th of October edition. We're yes. going to be talking about beauty news. New release beauty products, makeup items, the skin cares, all, all of that all stuff. All from the past week. Yes. A and lot releases every week. Updates on things we've talked about in the past. Yes, but first... We have a sponsor. We do. <laughs> this week's episode of Beauty News is brought to you by Himalaya Podcast App. Whether you're a podcaster or a fan, Himalaya is designed with you in mind and has a ton of cool features like curated, shareable playlists and collections made just for you, along with personalized recommendations to help with content discovery. And the best part is it's super easy to use. It's quickly become our favorite listening app and we're sure it'll be yours too. So do yourself a favor, download Himalaya today and be sure to follow Beauty News once you're there. So thank you to Himalaya for supporting Beauty News yet again. Uh, every time we have Himalaya as a sponsor on the Beauty News video episodes, we like to talk about a podcast mm -hmm. that piques our interest. Yes. And this time we're going to talk about one that might be a little bit controversial. It is. It's very interesting though. It is. It's called Caliphate. Yeah. So Caliphate is about uh, the Islamic State. Yeah. Um, and it's just... Look, I, it's, it's fascinating to listen it, to. It is. And I think, you know, it might be a, a bit of a sensitive one for some people. So definitely use your discretion mm -hmm. to decide if that's really something that you want to listen to. But I found it fascinating. Mm -hmm. I thought it was very well done uh, and very interesting. Yeah, because it's done by a um, journalist who actually... Um, like reports on a lot of the ISIS stuff and it's really interesting they talk about the recruitment process and she interviews a guy that um, was recruited into ISIS and came back home to Canada and like hid that he had done nasty stuff so if you're interested in like why they do what they do and what their goals are and how they convince people to join it's really insightful it is but yeah definitely warning it's yeah. not going to be for everyone yes all right, last week we talked about an ELF collaboration. We had no idea who it, who it was with, but I did put on the screen when it was revealed because as I was editing, it was being revealed. Um, it's actually with a YouTuber named Nabella. So people are quite excited for this one because Nabella is uh, Bangladeshi and uh, from what comments that I've seen, this is the first like international collaboration with a makeup brand with someone um, of Bangladeshi sort of background. So a lot of people are really excited. I think it's a really fresh perspective. Good. I think it's great. Yeah, it's a good achievement. Yeah, it's totally cool. So the collection has already launched by the time you're watching this. Uh, it's at Elf Cosmetics uh, website and also at Ulta Beauty. There's a loose highlighter for $8. Uh, a lipstick and lip liner set for $10, a five piece brush set for $20, or the bundle is $38. So, no um, saving. <laughs> yeah, they love doing that, don't they? <laughs> they do. Um, but the thing I think is interesting is it's got really cool packaging. Yeah. The brushes are pink. Um, the products themselves are, let's face it, pretty basic. It's a nude lip, nude lip liner, and a champagne highlighter, but wearable. very wearable, but she looks gorgeous in the images and um, it's a it's a great collaboration. It is. We've seen some more products from Fenty's holiday release. So previously we saw that they had a mini gloss bomb set. Yep. So it was a five piece gloss bomb set. Um, and uh, look, we don't think personally that this is going to be everything in their holiday collection if it is they've really pulled back <laughs> they this year. Have. that's all i have to say maybe their vaults and their massive things last year just didn't sell as well and they're pulling Potentially, back yeah i don't know but this is a this is a fraction of what they'd normally it release is. and these are all minis as yeah. well so yeah. like we mentioned we had the glossy posse 42 us dollars it contains five mini lip glosses in the shades fussy pretty please hot chocolate confetti and cheeky then we have the little stunner mini in underdog this is a deep burgundy it's 15 us dollars there's bomb baby 2 for 24 us dollars it contains a sweet baby gloss bomb which is a shimmery soft pink and sandcastle kilowatt foil highlighter which is a metallic bronze which does not look like a metallic bronze it doesn't bronze. look it looks like <laughs> A light champagne pink. It does. It that does. matches the lip gloss. Yes. Uh, and then there's a mini body lava in Who Needs Clothes, which is a rose gold. This is 24 US dollars. They're expensive for minis. 
super expensive for minis. Uh, this is all launching on the 11th of October at Fenty. Mm -hmm. um, a few people were asking because when we first talked about that set, I think Sephora announced it at Sephora yeah. that it was releasing the 1st of October and people were like, where the heck is it? 11th of October is the correct date. Yeah. But um, yeah, I expect more to come. Oh, that. If there's not more, I will um, eat my shoe. I'm really surprised. And mm. one thing we have noticed this year, it really feels like brands are staggering their holiday releases in like two waves, yeah. which we're not very happy about. But it's um, it seems to be something that they're doing a lot. Like Hourglass, NARS, mm. like all these brands are doing like different releases. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I, th I kind of get the vibe that like when we talk about stuff like this, we're already consuming it to a certain degree yeah. Um, because we're like, you know, analyzing things and going over all of the information. And then when it's brought back up again, it's like, this is old and boring. Get out of my face. Yeah. I'm not, but I, I just don't, I don't see the marketing reason for them want, wanting to create sort of like the first wave of holiday releases yeah. and then a month later more because like we were talking about this before, we like holiday release day when mm. it's one day a year. You go in, everything's there. You can yeah. go and you can browse and it's exciting. When you have to constantly check back every week for new stuff, it becomes too much. It becomes like it's a, a chore. Yeah, it, yeah, I don't like it. I'm just no. not, it's not as fun. No. So I don't like it how brands are doing this. All right, Jeffrey and Shane Dawson. Mm. So uh, we did see back in, I don't know, March or something yeah. um, that they were going to release a collection together. And if you've been watching Shane Dawson's series about Jeffrey Star, the second series, mm. um, you'll see that it's pretty much uh, following the last six months um, of them creating this line. And the second video went up uh, on the last weekend and they sort of gave some information about what was coming from the range. Now, mm -hmm. we didn't see too much, but we'll update you anyway. Um, this image has been doing the rounds. It has. Um, so there's a blurred screen and they're looking at what looks like a palette mock-up. This is actually a fan concept. It is. So a fan designed a few concept items, uh, what they thought, could be like the palette could look like mm. and this is clearly them looking at it yes. so this is not what the palette's going to look like no um, what we do have confirmed is some lip colors there's yeah. a metallic poo brown mm -hmm. that they're calling shane yeah now i really i was watching this and i'm like it must be really hard though because i know shane is only just now getting into makeup so it's sort of hard to then create a something that you really like that you really love the colors of yeah. like I wanted my perfect red or I've always wanted my perfect nude because he's hasn't worn them yeah so Jeffrey was just literally like here's a lab sample he's like <laughs> all right <laughs> metallic poo brown let's call it Shane and I was like no no Shane you be more critical yeah. you pick something you want don't yeah. let him go here's a lab sample take it yeah um so I was sort of yeah it just seemed like it, we're it, rooting for him <laughs> yeah but it seemed like um when they announced some of the other ones so they did go through some concept um names and colors mm. for, and there was named after like his friends and whatnot yeah. um it was literally like let's maybe do a red and jeffrey's like we haven't done this shade of red he's like okay we'll do it so it's yeah. just like really yeah Oh yeah, so we we saw a little bit that that will be coming out, but yeah. nothing really concrete except for the poo metallic brown. Yeah, there was another um, concept image by an account called Leaked Leak, and it's the only only image that they have on their Instagram account, and it was from ages ago, like nearly nearly a year ago. Yeah, um, and it looks great, like it's done really well, but it's definitely not legit because actually. I was going to say it's definitely not legit because there's a spelling mistake, but it's not the first time Jeffrey's had a spelling <laughs> mistake true. in one of his products. That's true. But it, I like it does look cool. So it does look cool. It doesn't look yeah. like Jeffrey's style of no, packaging. It doesn't. And also um, the names that they were discussing yeah. in the it's video not, it's is not, not related yeah. to this no. at all. But there will be a lot of fan art like. Shane Dawson has a massive following, so yeah. he's got some dedicated fans and some of them know how to use computer. Yeah designing software to create this stuff so yeah. um, until you see it coming in the documentary it's not going to be real yeah we've seen the launch of kimchi's brand so this is called kimchi chic and the the brand has launched with a bunch of products which i 
personally actually think is really good. Yeah, better than a couple of glitters yeah. and a lipstick. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the products are the Rainbow Shards Eyeshadow Palette, 29 US dollars. Diamond Shards Liquid Eyeshadows. These come in eight shades and they are eight US dollars. There's a high key glosses in three shades in nine US dollars. And there is a handheld LED lit mirror. It comes in two designs. It's 25 US dollars. It's launched with the NYX founder. Mm. So it does look a little bit sugar pill like. I hope the quality isn't NYX um, because it's a little bit more expensive. The prices aren't bad. No. I think for the makeup, the prices aren't bad. I don't get rainbow out of that palette at oh, all. Oh, absolutely Unless not. you're talking about burnt toast is yep. a rainbow, then yep. yes, because there are 12 shades of brown or cream. Mm -hmm. uh, no, let's say 13, 13 because rich is pretty much a brown. Yeah. And then there's five pink, blue, gold, which, yep. look, if it's a strange say, balance. If you say five shades, pink, blue, gold, that's a that's bad a, balance. That's a because that's a three colors rainbow. in five shades. Yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah, look, look, it, 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 it's probably exactly what she wears, which yeah. is fab, that's fine. awesome. I yeah. get it. Um, I like browns. These browns are pretty bland, um, and the pop of colors are not my cup of tea. No. Um, I have so much like teal and bright pink coming out the wazoo, mm -hmm. and I don't even use it. So. This doesn't interest me at all. I think the packaging is very cute. It's limited edition. Um, it's designed by Ketnips. The liquid eyeshadows, there's a nice range there. Once again, a bunch of browns, a couple of colors. And the high key glosses, there's a peach, there's a nude and a peachy pink. So mm. it is quite limited, but it's just the start. And if this is what represents Kim Chi, then go for it. I, I reckon her fans will love this. Um, Personally, I'm yeah. I'm not. I wouldn't spend my. There's numbers. not enough here that really no. draws my attention, but um, you know, it's a it's a nice start. Yeah. All right, we've got a bit of a quick update on Mac Holiday. So we did see the advent calendar last week or the week before, and um, last year it was UK only. We have seen that Mac Cosmetics Australia has announced that it's coming to Australia. It is. Now, it does look a bit different. It's mm. the same shape, but it's got, instead of black, it's got a sort of lavender mm. colour. So Sparkly. I don't know if it's going to have different items inside or if it's just a different packaging design. But if you were interested, it is coming soon. And you better be quick because yes, it will sell, they sell out. out like crazy. We have a little update from Exo Beauty. We have seen some pans from her upcoming um, eyeshadow palette. Yeah, so Shan Exo has been talking about creating an eyeshadow palette. Uh, the other week we saw a look she created with a purple sort of eye. So uh, this is another section of the palette, clearly. Excellent. So we don't know when this is coming, but um, that's a sampling of some of the shades. All right, so we've seen the Anastasia Beverly Hills Holiday Collection. Now, it's a bit of an interesting one. They mm. do this quite often where they sort of release sort of semi-unrelated things uh, and they just lump lot. it as like one collection. But the main thing Here's here... Here's a shoe and yeah. an egg. Yeah, Merry it, Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the main thing from this collection is a new collaboration palette. Mm. Now, this is with Carly Bible. Um, the packaging triggers a lot of people. Sorry about that. Mm. Um, but this is the sort of standard Anastasia Beverly Hills 14 pan eyeshadow palette um, and if you're counting I think this might be the seventh palette release this year I'll talk about that in a bit of a, in a second um, but look they did announce at the start of the year that they were collaborating with three people mm. one of them weren't beauty um, wasn't beauty related and they did do that they had Alyssa Edwards they had Jackie Ina and they've got Carly Bible now um, and this is going down with mixed opinions. Mm. Some people are saying they love it. Other people are saying yawn, same old, same old. I'm sort of in that category. Yeah, if Carly Bible fans are as like vicious as Jackie Ina fans, I'm prepared because mm. we had to sit through so many comments calling us racist because we thought uh, the Jackie Ina one was repetitive. I say the same thing for mm. Carly Bible, who is white. So it is what it is. I wouldn't buy this. I can dupe this with so many palettes yep. that I already own. And I feel like these sort of this palette design is getting a bit stale. But also an update. Um, someone 
asked, I think, Norvina on Twitter, mm. um, what's with all the releases. Mm-hmm. I personally, and a lot of people believe it's because they're getting ready to sell the company. We've seen a few brands in the past that has uh, ramped up their releases to inflate their profits and then sell their company for a lot of money, uh, a lot more money. So I feel like that's what's happening. But Norvina said that they're just trying to stay competitive with the constant release cycle, which I don't believe because I think this is actually hurting them more than it's actually helping them. But she also said that uh, the Norvina palettes are sort of like um, a brand within a brand. So they're trying to market Norvina as being like a sister brand to Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I understand if that's what they were doing because they've technically released three palettes there and four palettes with Anastasia. So technically that's pretty balanced. I think Anastasia usually released three palettes a year. Yeah. Um, But if they're going to do that, they actually have to have separate social medias and make a difference. You have to be clear about that. Yeah. They weren't launched under a brand called Norvina. They were launched under a brand called Anastasia Beverly Hills, which makes them Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Yeah, and that's where I think they've done... They're they're possibly coming up with excuses, and that might be a way that they're justifying it. Yeah. But they need to do what Colourpop did with 4th Ray Beauty and Soul Body. If they want to release a brand within a brand, they actually have to have its own social media presence, its own section of the website. So, um, you know, fans that can see both, but at the same time, they know it's distinct because otherwise it looks like they are churning stuff out and it's getting a bit suspicious. But it so, doesn't look like they're churning stuff they out. Are. They are churning, they are churning stuff, stuff out. out. And it's all but, being churned out under ABH. Yeah, they're doing and, the makeup revolution, iHeart yeah. revolution, exactly. revolution pro, whatever the other, what is Who it, makeup you? obsession. <laughs> it's like it's all the same shit, but yeah. you're just trying to um, mask it by going, we've got a sort of different name kind of yeah. maybe on it, maybe kind of. Um, yeah, it's a bit weird. But along with that, they do have three packs that are releasing. They've got a lip pack, which is the undressed lip set. It contains four liquid lips and one lip gloss for 40 US dollars. This is actually very beautiful. It's got different packaging to their normal packaging as well. And the shades are sand, peachy, on mute, beaming, and the gloss is summer vibes. So um, I actually think this is a really smart kit because the nude mattes, they're really beautiful. They're beautiful. I love them. But I, I don't want the metallic or the no. shimmer. But oh, no. the shimmer's not too bad. But sand, peachy, and on mute. So pretty. That should be in a trio because I would buy the shit out of that. So along with that, they've got the loose glitter set, which is 40 US dollars. It contains five uh, mini like glitters and also a glitter glue or a glitter adhesive. Yeah. So these are so those iridescent, sort of clear so but iridescent sparkle. You've got a purple, you've got like a rainbow, a blue, a green, and a gold. Um, it's very pretty. And then they have a mini loose highlighter set, 48 US dollars. Now, this is a smart move. Uh, it looks a bit confusing. It looks like there should be like six shades yeah. in here. But it's just, um, it's like in a tube and there's three little yep. tubs with glitter lids. Now, these are the ones they released in the full size. Um, I think it was like last release mm. or the one before, maybe the summer release. Um, but you can try them in minis, which I think is great because using up a full like loose highlighter is very hard to do. This is a great way to sample the three. So all of this is launching on the 7th of October. Uh, so that's on their website, the so US and the UK one. It's also launching domestically, so in the US other stores on the 10th and internationally on the 11th. Barry M have two palettes that are launching soon. Um, and essentially what they've done is they've hooked up with the David Shepard Wildlife Foundation to create these two limited edition eyeshadow palettes to help raise funds um, for conservation work. So they're saying at least 20% of the net profits from the sale of all Barry M wildlife products will be donated to the foundation, launching soon exclusively at Superdrug. Yeah, so we don't know what's inside just yet, but um, there we go. From Becca, um, we've actually had this information for a while, but we've been holding off because we thought it was just a small part of their holiday collection. Now, it might be a small part, uh, but I went onto their website and I saw that they do have a holiday page where they're promoting all of their holiday goodies. Um, But it looks like there's only three small sets that are actually new and holiday related. 
So there's the Party Popper Ultimate Lipstick Love Mini Kit. It's $25. It contains three mini lipsticks. There's the Your Glow To Go Primer Highlighter and Lip Kit. So this contains a mini highlighter, um, a liquid highlighter and uh, a mini lipstick. And then there's a Chill and Glow Setting Powder and Lip Gloss Duo. So it's got the um, Hydro Powder and a lip gloss. And the rest of the stuff on that page is just stuff that they've had forever. They're just re-promoting it. Yeah. This is really strange. I, I feel like there are some brands that are going crazy with holidays and there are some brands that are just like, fuck it. Yeah. Don't give a shit. I'm going so, on holiday, yeah. not holidays. Yeah, I'm taking time off. I don't mm. want to make money. Fuck mm. that shit. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be more coming. They could do that second sort of wave thing. Possibly, Last yeah. year they had the Chrissy well, they, Teigen yeah, stuff. Yeah, they usually have like an actual... Yeah collection yeah. uh, the the item like the the palette item that they're promoting at the moment is the existing one. uh pop goes the glow champagne pop phase and i oh pop <laughs> pop pop I that, that thing name. which um, which came out about a month ago didn't it exactly that's not holiday that's old news or well, maybe it's holiday but it was maybe it old is news holiday oh Interesting. All right, BH Cosmetics. We've seen the Mini Zodiac Libra palette. So um, get excited if you're a Libra or not because it's pretty basic. So it's a nine color eyeshadow palette, 14 US dollars. Um, I think it should be available now at BH Cosmetics. Um, maybe not, but it is light. There's pink, there's a yellow, there's brown. There's, there's not a, a yellow. <laughs> Um, I know, I know, I know. Okay, it swatched looks, it looks peach. It um, looks like a yellow, but it's not. But it's, swatched it looks yeah. peach brown. It's not. It's pretty dull. Anyway, there's that. Uh, we've also got from Chi Chi Cosmetics. So this is an Australian brand. Um, if you're Australian, you're very familiar with them. Um, they're about to launch their 54 shade palette called Club Tropicana. Um, so it's coming soon. It's a big rainbow palette, mainly in the reds and pink spectrum. There's like one green um, or like there's like three greens, but they're pretty dull. Yeah. Uh, it's a strange one. They have done these sort of big palettes before. I think they did one last holiday yeah, season. Did. And it was a big rainbow. It was a big rainbow palette. Um, and here's another one. Yay. Hooray. Hey, they must be selling. That's all I have to say. Yes. On Boxing Day sales. That's true. They actually do have really great Boxing <laughs> Day do. sales. We have an epileptic fit from Sears. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> uh, warning for people that actually do get yeah, headaches that's from flashing things or it. epilepsy <laughs> because I posted this, I think, yesterday on Instagram and so many people were like, this is ridiculous. They made the worst ad. That video this. is atrocious. I couldn't even watch Should it. Should we slow and it down? Yeah, I would okay. slow it down by about 200%, maybe more. I saw it on Instagram and I was like, all right, what's this new thing? And I was like, no, oh, what on earth? I couldn't even <laughs> look at it. It literally. It's an assault to the eyes. It literally, like that yeah. is the type of thing that could induce epileptic fits yes. in people who are prone to them. So, Absolutely. So like, watch out. We're not fucking joking about this. No, we'll slow the fuck down and we'll try to make it a bit more palatable for people. But essentially what we have is um, a new item that they're adding to the Jessica Rabbit collection. So we don't know what it is, but, but from the video, if you can actually slow it down and have a look, they're advertising a body highlighter. Um, it looks like it's got two colors, a gold and a rose gold, and it's in the shape of Jessica Rabbit. So this is a, an extension to the Jessica Rabbit collection, which was great in theory, bad in practice, products were crap. Hayley yep. still cries about it Mate, to I'll this never, very day. I will never, I'm never forgiven for that. Yeah. I yep. don't forgive anyone and I don't forget. <laughs> it's Editing Cat here and I thought I'd just update this for the people that's listening on the podcast. So we have seen that uh, it is a face and body highlighter and it comes with a powder puff. Uh, so that has launched on the Ciate website. It's 32 pounds and it does have multiple colors. It also says that uh, it implies that the colors go all the way through the pan because it says when you swirl your brush in it, the design won't disappear. So that's good, at least. They've also launched a Jessica Rabbit con compact mirror. So um, this is 15 pounds. It's a mirror. It's got Jessica Rabbit on the outside. And these are going to be slotted into the Ciate holiday releases. So this is part of their holiday range. 
All right, so we're just about to talk about ColourPop, but of course, ColourPop being ColourPop, they have released a new color collection uh, within 12 hours of us uh, filming this episode. So I thought I would give you the information on that because it has already launched. Now, a lot of people have been asking for an all gray collection and ColourPop listened. So this is the Smoke Show collection. So this includes the Smoke Show eyeshadow palette, which is $12. US It is an all gray palette. So it's got shimmers and mattes. There's also a Smoke and Mirrors Glitterly Obsessed Mini Trio. So this is $12. US And it comes in, I wouldn't call these gray. Um, there's like two iridescent white glitters. One sort of shifts gold. One shifts sort of blue and purple. And then there's more of a, I would call it a taupe sparkle they're quite pretty they would layer nicely over the grays then there's a starry eyed bff bundle this is 18 us dollars and this contains a black liquid liner and two cream gel liners they're pencil liners one looks like a matte gray and one looks like a silver and then there's a heavy metal super shock shadow trio for 15 us dollars it contains the shades liberty tassel and frisky so one looks to be like a black base with silver glitter one looks to be a straight out silver and another one is almost like a silvery white shade all right so before we get on to the next color pop releases once again i'm just going to say if you want to stay up to date with daily news do check out our instagram page because um, that's where we post news as it sort of comes up Colourpop, uh we have a new collection it actually launched today when we are filming this mm-hmm. it's called the midnight masquerade so it's within their disney designer uh collection so Round this three. is yeah the third one that they've released this year so there is a midnight masquerade palette it's retailing for 22 us dollars there are eight blush slash highlighter compacts these are 10 us dollars each there are Lux Liquid Lips. These are eight US dollars each, and they are a new lip formula they to look their like range. They're minis as well, don't they? Yes. And then there are the Princess Bundles. These are eighteen US dollars each. They contain a highlighter and one of the Lux Liquid Lips. No savings. Yeah, save zero dollars. Thank you, ColourPop. Yes. Now they are selling this in two bundles. So you can buy the um, PR kit. It comes in a box that will hold all of the goodies. It's $191. Or you can buy the Masquerade Magic Set, which is the palette and all of the little uh, blush and lip duos for $166. So that's there, minus the box. Yes. There is also a bag. It's a little like clutch bag for $15, US dollars, um, which is pretty old school looking. It's yeah. it's a bit cute. It's like a coin purse. It does. So yeah, if you love their last two collections, it's available now. I'll, I'll also put a comparison on the screen of the last um, two palettes and the current palette. So if you sort of like a mix between the two, mm. sort of like it, it's a middle ground betri- between the two. So um, if you're interested, it's out now. Another ColourPop thing, um, this was this came out, I think it was the day before we uploaded last week, so we couldn't slot it in. But uh, Safia Nygaard has collaborated with ColourPop to release six lipsticks. Mm. Now, I think the premise of this was that um, when she was doing her massive sort of like every lipstick at Sephora, melt them together, see what colour it creates, she actually gave away those lipsticks Mm. um and i think the other week um for people that entered they got an email saying if you missed out don't worry um you can pretty much buy one coming soon so one of these shades at least i think it might be bury me in lipsticks Mm. is actually sort of like a dupe color for the lipstick she created from that video she's also said that all shades here she's whipped up in a variety of bad makeup science and mixing videos over the years so um, if you do watch her consistently you'll recognize these i must admit i do not sorry guys so this is a limited edition collection and there are four cream lipsticks and two matte luxe lipsticks uh, they do have limited edition packaging with bats on it which is like her little like 
logo-y thing, I believe. Um, the shade, shades are Bury Me in Lipsticks, which is, yeah, it's the 600 melted lipstick yep. shade, like replicated. And that one's a Cream Luxe. It's like a mauve berry shade. Mrs. Norris is a Cream Luxe Grage Brown. Then there's Screamer, which is a Matte Luxe Deep Burgundy. Brucey, which is a Matte Luxe Blue Green. Bikini Bottom, which is a Matte Luxe Pinky Beige Nude. And Fred, which is a Cream Luxe uh, red, so it's the Franken red, um, whatever that means. Um, so these are eight dollars each, or you can grab the collection for forty six dollars. They're available now, and I think they I think they selling, sold out. Yeah, I think they yeah. sold pretty fast. So um, people loved this. I think this is a really smart move for ColourPop and Safia because I think it's an organic mix, yeah, and that's like when collaborations work best. And her fans can be like. I'm wearing Berry Me in lipsticks and it's the color of 600 lipsticks. I know because I got it. Like it's a cool yeah. story behind it. So yeah. um, this is probably one of the better collaborations I've seen from ColourPop in the whole history of ColourPop collaborations. Fair. All right. The Ordinary. Mm. So we were pretty lucky. We were invited to a breakfast uh, late last week. Yep. Um, well, it wasn't. It was late in the week, but early in the morning. <laughs> oh, it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. We had to get up early. Um, Anyway, we basically went to uh, the Ordinary Store on Chapel Street in Melbourne and they talked to us about upcoming releases for um, the end of this year and 2020. Next, next six months, yeah. yeah. So some items that we saw were uh, the Ordinary Mixed UV Filters SPF 50 and the Invisible UV Filters SPF 30. So these are their SPF products. So these are actually due to come to Australia in April of 2020. So just after summer. Yeah, along <laughs> with uh, a pomegranate enzyme 30% plus willow bark extract 3% peeling solution. The Ordinary are also releasing concealers later this year. They're going to be under 10 Australian dollars, which is great. So probably cheaper elsewhere. Um, but they're going to be making a shade match for all their foundations. So if you love their foundations and you've been screaming for their concealers, they said it's like the most popular request they've had. Um, they are coming very soon. And um, they've also said that they're working on, um, they didn't say expanding the range, but they're looking at gaps in their shade range. So looking yep. at sort of padding that out. Um, very soon. From Neod, they're going to be releasing a Copper Amino Isolate Lipid 0.1%. So if you're a fan of the um, Copper Amino Isolate Serum, they're bringing it out in like a, it's like a lotion, a gel. Yeah, it's like a, a gel. gel. It's like a gel oil. Yeah, it's really It's really beautiful, yeah. This is due to actually be coming out really soon. So yeah. autumn for the US, which is spring for us. Yeah, uh, which is what we're in. Yeah, so, so In the soon. next couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, later this year, so winter for the US, summer for us in Australia, um, we're going to be seeing the Hippu line, which is their baby line. Um, so there's going to be a shampoo, a body wash, no soap soap, um, a, a gel, an oof gel. Yeah, so I think that's for um, like rashes and um, cuts and stuff. There's going to be a teddy mist, which is designed uh, to be like sprayed on teddies um, and it's meant to have a lavender scent to help like calm and mm -hmm. encourage uh, a good sleep. And then there is something called Thin Milk, which is going to be like a hydrating product for children, mm -hmm. very gentle, very thin. Yeah, we actually got to sample that and yeah. it was like... Like I'd say milk. the consistency of like a slightly thicker milk yeah, um, and it's very, very thin. So if you're worried about putting like lotion on babies because it's too heavy, mm. uh, this is what that's for. They are also going to be releasing a store fragrance. So yeah. this is going to be coming again April 2020. Um, so if you like the fragrance of their stores, you'll be able to buy it. All right, we've got some body products from Dermalogica. So these have just released um they're on the australian website i'm not sure if they're elsewhere but they usually roll out at the same time so i'm sure they're available now so this is a body collection designed to deliver an aromatherapeutic skin healthy experience sounds like lots of words so it's pretty much supposed to be like a treatment in between your salon or spa sort of treatments or i would say salon or spa treatments at home 
because yeah, I don't like I to would, go to a salon or spa. I would not go to a salon or a spa for a body for treatment. A, for a shower. Honey, no. Cannot. For a, for a hydrating body cream. Cannot afford. No. <laughs> no. I'm no. so sorry. Yeah, so I can't afford these products either. I treat either. the face, not the body. That's true. You get the leftovers. <laughs> That's true. So the products are, there's a body hydrating cream. This is in Australian dollars. $49. So it's a body lotion that helps tone and smooth the skin. Um, it's supposed to relieve uh, skin dryness with lactic acid. It's got good mm. stuff. Then there's a conditioning body wash. This is $46. So it's a rich uh, skin conditioning botanical cleanser. Uh, so it's soap free, which is really, That's really great. great. And then there's a phyto replenish body oil. <sighs> This give it is, to me, give it to me, give it to me, yeah, give it to me. 81 Australian dollars. Did I yeah. say US dollars before for the, anyway, it's uh, all Australian dollars. It's all Australian. If I butchered it, it's my own fault. Um, this is a uh, replenish calm and moisturizing um, oil. And it's like antioxidant rich. Um, and I think this would be gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, then there's also a thermofoliant mm. body scrub. 67 Australian dollars. So it's supposed to exfoliate, energize, and brighten dull skin. And it's a dual action body exfoliant. So is this one of the ones that you rub on and then it warms up? Potentially. Possibly. Yeah. Uh, but it's all available now. We have a little uh, sneak peek from Dominique Cosmetics of something, something. We're just going to chuck it out there. I think it might be a palette. Yeah, we've got another photo as well that yeah. definitely confirms that it's a palette. Cool. Uh, so we'll let you know more when yeah. we know more. It, it's, a, it's a full release. Uh, could be their Christmas release. We don't know. Um, and from this photo, can't tell much. No. M Cosmetics have released limited edition holiday essentials packs. So there are six packs in total. Um, we've got Celestial Petites. This is 12 US dollars. It has $30 value. So the options are a True Gloss Petites. So this contains a Petite True Gloss in Caramel Glaze and Moroccan Sunset, plus a makeup pouch. Then there's an Infinite Lip Cloud Petites. This contains Petite Infinite Lip Clouds in Faded Clementine and Rose Nude. You also get a makeup pouch with that one as well. Magical Moments, these are $29 with a $61 value. There's the Magic Hour Moment. So it's got a true gloss in Magic Hour, an infinite lip cloud in Magic Hour, and an illustrative eyeliner in black. There's also the Faded Clementine Moment. So this contains a true gloss and an infinite lip cloud in Faded Clementine plus the illustrative eyeliner in black, and they both also come with makeup pouches. Then there's the Holy Grails. These ones are $49 each with a $76 value. There is a vibrant color story. It contains Color Drops Serum Blush in Pink Nectar, a True Gloss in Tender Rose, illustrative eyeliner in black, and a Petite Infinite Lip Cloud in Muted Mauve. There is also an enameled pin uh, in these bags. The next one is the Neutral Color Story. So it contains the Color Drop Serum Blush in Rose Milk, a True Gloss in Mochi Mochi, and did I say that really strangely? You did, Mochi Mochi. <laughs> mochi Mochi, an illustrative eyeliner in black, a Petite Infinite Lip Cloud in Rose Nude, and of course, the pin. Yeah, so this is all available now. It's their holiday packs, um, and I've never tried anything from M Cosmetics, but if I was, I'd probably buy a pack because they're better value and you get to try a few things. So and I like that the, some of them are minis because lip products, especially yeah, that, liquid yeah. lip products, like minis, I'm always a bit concerned about bullet lipsticks because minis can be a bit more unstable and they can often break. But if it's in a tube, it's the same. It's yeah. going to be the same. Yeah. So may as, well, no issues yeah, may as well try the minis. Okay, earlier in the week, Huda... Um, showed a black and white sneak peek of some new, um, what do they call them? Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. Uh, what revealed today was that they're actually nude. Mm. Um, so these are the nude obsessions. So they come in light, medium and rich. So these are releasing on the 9th of October at the Huda website for 29 US dollars each. And they're also launching on the 15th of October at Sephora. Now, what I've noticed is there are a few people that there's two two types of people generally with these. Some that are like, 
yawn. This is the most boring thing. It's like her bigger palettes just broken down into smaller palettes. And then there's other people going that she had a huge gap in her um, nine pan uh, palette range. There was like brights, neons, jewel toned, um, and they never actually had proper nudes. And um, so I think that, yeah, you, you fall in one of two categories. I personally really like these. I love them. I'm I think they're so good. All three of yeah, these I, I personally wouldn't use the light one too much, even though that would probably suit my skin tone more. Medium is gorgeous. Yeah. I love the rich, rich sort of amazing. burnt tones yeah. to it. I think that's so different from your standard nude range, which mm -hmm. is just generally caramel browns. This is really beautiful and rich is glorious i love the packaging on these two i yeah. think i might buy all of these <gasps> see my problem is i want two yeah. and since there's three i'm like may as well just yeah. buy three yeah but i do I think, think it's a smart move for a range and I, I i think it's really smart having the different color stories because if you also are fairly new to makeup and you don't know what colors will suit your sort of skin tone which this doesn't necessarily help that because different colors but depending on your undertones but it's a it's a nice starting point. Mm. If you know that you've got lighter skin, you know the light one should work pretty well on you. Medium skin, you know, deeper skin. Um, I think this, yeah, filling a gap and I kind of like it. I love it. I think they're great. They're yeah. probably the first ones of a mini palettes, like the Obsessions palettes, where yeah. I've gone, yep, you got me. Yeah. And I think, like, okay, the light one is probably my least favorite. Yeah. Like, the rich and the medium I really enjoy. But... I feel like the light one is going to pair with the medium so well because yeah, the medium is legitimately medium. Yeah. See, um, I love medium eyeshadows all over. So yeah. for me, medium is all I need. But I do see like, you know, like the last three shades being swatched here, they almost got a purpley tone. Mm. Being able to reach for these yeah, lighter purples exactly. to sort of um, blend it out a bit more would yeah. be really nice. So yeah. But then again, you just kind of go, should I just buy one of her like big nude palettes and just yep. have it all it, it's up to you well, the only one of her nudes pa nude palettes that is actually good is um the desert dusk, desert dusk. yeah i already got that but and i don't have these shades <laughs> exactly i'm ready yeah. for more we've seen the it cosmetics holiday collection there is a lot of stuff here I'm going to run through it as quickly as I can. Uh, we've got the It Cosmetics Volume 3 Makeup Palette. This is $42. US They've given it a value of $120. I don't know why. You're wrong. Uh, there's also some brush sets. So we have a five-piece brush set for $75 and a six-piece brush set plus case for $50. Uh, the the, fi the five-piece, which is more expensive, has larger brushes more large brushes yeah more face it. brushes yeah their brushes are actually really nice They're i really think their nice. brushes are the nicest things in their whole entire range yeah so, there you go uh there are some mini sort of makeup packs there's a lash and glow mascara and bronzer set for 29.50 there's the your lip flushing faves which is a three-piece uh je ne sais quoi lip trio for 39 dollars um there's a it's your eye opening superpowers gift set. So this has an eye cream, an eyeliner, and a mascara in it. Uh, sorry, the brow. Oh yeah, the, the brow, brow pencil. pencil uh, brow power and a mascara, twenty six dollars. That mascara, clumpy as fuck. Mm. Then there are a bunch of skin sets. I'm not going to go through all of these because there's just too many. They've got some little um, mini tree ornament sets, but. They're almost all available now wherever you can get it cosmetics, except a few things that are coming soon. So there is another brush set. This looks to be a six piece brush set. So five brushes and a travel case. This is so expensive compared to the last one though. Yeah, I like know. There's a five piece that have that looks similar to this yes. with a case that yeah. was 75 and yeah. now all of a sudden they've doubled it. I think uh, the the case is meant to be luxe in some way. I don't know. No, I'll it's pass. not. Yeah, it's not. It's not for me. Um, and then there are a few sort of makeup and like skincare sets that will be coming soon. They're just not available yet. So they're doing the staggered thing again. Yeah. All right. Let's touch on this quickly. Jeffrey Star are releasing um, mystery boxes for Halloween. So these are launching the 11th of October. There's three sizes as per usual. The premium is $40. It contains four items and it says that it's $82 value. The deluxe is $75. It contains eight items and it's $186 value. And uh, the Supreme is $160. 
13 items, $339 value. So it seems like in the box you can get at least one, possibly more exclusive items. Um, there is a mystery Halloween liquid lipstick and they're also releasing two exclusive Jeffree Star mirrors and a limited edition zombie can't relate t-shirt. Some of those might come in the box, but it sounds like at least every box will have one the liquid limited, lipstick, I yeah, would assume. I would think um, so. Which is a good move because, you know, these are good value, mm. but they're notorious for being a way to get rid of old stock. Yeah. So if you buy these, you end up getting like Christmas releases from two years ago. <laughs> um, and sometimes people show that they're like sort of settled and they're like gone a bit funny. So um, yeah, if you're a huge fan and you want to spend the money for the limited edition liquid lipstick, go for your life. But it's up to you. From LA Girl Cosmetics, uh, there's two new fierce and wild eyeshadow palettes. So the shade options are Instinct and Untamed. They have shimmers and mattes in them, colours, nudes, stuff. Yeah, there's one warm with a pop of blue and one cool with a pop of purple and green. Mm. So these are available now at LA Girl Cosmetics at 18 US dollars each. We've seen a look at Lorax Holiday Collection. So this looks like it's in collaboration with Rachel Zoe. Yeah. Um, but essentially what we have is uh, some mini palettes. I think there's going to be four. four yeah. I think. Now, I found two on the uh, Ulta Beauty website. The other two aren't available yet, so I don't know. But they're going to be 15 US dollars each. I actually really like the look of these. Yeah, um, And I'm, I'm kind of down. Uh, but... They really, they just shot themselves in the foot with me because you guys know how much I, I don't put up with this shit. Um, they claim to have 100% certified authentic diamonds in them. You don't need diamonds on your eyes. Just stop fucking wasting your time. I know. Which is I really know. sad because, in, like, these palettes are really pretty. They're rad. Like, They're there's a beautiful so warm good. tone one with a bit of, like, mossy green and yeah. forest green. There's a cooler tone one with some purples and mauves is a warm and mauve and sparkle a cool tone with and you know, i like grays. lorax eyeshadow quality yeah too. i do like, i, I think this price, is a smart I move i just think that they they don't need to have the gimmicks yeah. because it cheapens it does it cheapens the brand it cheapens the brand and in my opinion like you, you've got no it takes away from your credibility yeah I agree. another issue with them is one of the um palettes that we have an image of here it's called effortless glamour the swatches are just like, yeah, what? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think the images are well. No, written. one looks grey and know. one looks pink and, and gold. And I double checked that like 6,000 times to make sure I was correct. It's correct. Uh, there's also the Alter Ego Golden Era Lip Set. So this contains three lip products. They're pretty colours. Yeah, there's a lip gloss, a lipstick and a lip liner, all in very wearable shades. I actually really like the yeah, colour. Yeah, I really like the colour too. Uh, and then there is the Diamond Disco Gloss Trio. So this is three Diamond Disco Glosses, pink, pink and clear. I can pass on those. But yes. the lip products are beautiful. The palettes are beautiful. Mm. There's also an image here um, where it's got a kabuki brush and yep. a white highlighter. Yes, I don't we know. We haven't yet seen what that is. No. So they're saying the collection is going to be in store at Ulta Beauty on the 13th of October. Um, there were some items on Ulta Beauty. I don't mm. Look, I don't It's launching soon. It's launching yeah, soon. It's I don't confusing. know. They're staggering their shit. All right. Revolution Pro has collaborated with a makeup artist. So this is Lan Nguyen... Grealis. Yeah. Probably butchered that and yeah. I apologise. But um, the makeup artist goes by Lans London on Instagram if you're interested. Um, so they have created the Ultimate Artist Palette. So this is £15, €17.99, Euro, 20 US dollars. So it's filled with face powders, a highlighter, blush shades, shadows and lip pigments to create an all-purpose makeup playbook. So um, Lands London has also created the Ultimate Artist Book, which features hundreds of stunning photographs to provide inspiration, demonstrating how to use the embellishments, um, glitter and gloss, colour and graphic lines, uh, blah, 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 blah. So uh, what you can essentially do is buy the palette or you can buy them together 
for £24 looks to be valued at just under £30. So you're saving £6. Uh, and saving. It, saving. So it's now available at revolutionbeauty.com and coming soon to Superdrug. Uh, more from Revolution, Makeup Revolution, Revolution Beauty. Uh, I don't know. We have the Forever Flawless Chilled Palette. So this is £10, €11.99 Euros or $15. US dollars. It is a um, big copy of Smoke Sessions from Melt. There she goes. So it, it's not a dupe because the colours are slightly, mm. like there's more colours to yeah. it, but they've even done the little like marijuana leaf imprint yeah. on it, which looks very much like um, what Melt did. So yeah. it's taken heavy inspiration. It has. Then we have the highbrow gel. This comes in three shades, dark brown, ash brown and medium brown. So if you have brown hair, lucky you. Brown, brown, brown. Brown uh, town. These are five pounds, five ninety nine euros, seven US dollars. There's a blowout mascara for eight pounds, eight ninety nine, ten US dollars, and the purifying primer water, seven pounds, seven ninety nine euros, and ten US dollars. We have some items that are also coming soon. So the things I just spoke about are available now, but coming soon are the lip nourishing tints in three shades. You've got. Energy, which is a warm toned pale coral. Mood, which is a plum. Euphoria is a cool toned pale pink. They're five pounds, 5.99 euros, seven US dollars. And the calming fixing spray, seven pounds, 7.99 euros, 10 US dollars. And they're all infused with nourishing cannabis sativa oil. Yay. Hooray. All right, Mark Jacobs have expanded their Lust and Stardust limited edition collection. Uh, which we saw, I think, a little while ago, mm. uh, with an iconic multi-finish eyeshadow palette in Electric. So it's a limited edition palette and it features uh, seven shades in four finishes. We've got Velvet, Satin, Silk and Metallic. Um, so there we go. It's now available for early access, might be available for non-early access, I don't know, uh, for $49.50 <laughs> US dollars at Marc Jacobs. So Sorry. this is three basic shades cream transition brown dark brown you see them coming out the wazoo and it looks like there's three sparkly shades purple silver pink and a matte black i don't know where they're talking about with their metallics and their whatever it, Lame. it looks <laughs> looks looks <laughs> lame okay from nyx cosmetics we have some new glow on lip glosses so these are available in three vivid yet wearable hues and uh, they say the formula actually glows under a black light. I don't want it on my mouth hole, thanks. No. <laughs> um, so basically they say intense colour, mirror-like shine, uh, then you flip the switch and uh, you've got a neon. So it comes in floral space, lilac vibes and violent violet, violent violet. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, they're available now at NYX Cosmetics and they're eight US dollars each. All right. Another holiday collection. Um, Snore. Snorefest. <laughs> uh, so Ofra have uh, released their Snowed In holiday collection. Shout out to Hanson fans that will get the Snowed yeah, In reference. Yeah, that, that was a great <laughs> that was Christmas a great album. album. Do you know, I still hear it in like the supermarket yeah. and stuff around Christmas I time. I love like, it. It's bringing me back I love it. to 1997. Um, so good. Love it. Uh, so what they have is just a bunch of packs these and, and like ornaments. None of these are exciting. None I think the vast majority of these are re-promote. <laughs> yeah, there might I think be so. the odd shade that's new. But All right, the sets from Ofra. We've got the Fireside Hotties Mini Lip Set. Twenty US dollars. It contains four mini uh, liquid lipsticks. There's also the By the Fire Mini Lip Set. Also twenty US dollars. Um, same thing, different shades. Then we have two split pan products these are 35 us dollars each snuggle up contains a highlighter and a blush these are existing shades hot cocoa contains a highlighter and a limited edition bronzer that's the only new thing i believe in here then we've got the signature palette which is the offer glow and it's just five mini highlighters for 37 dollars that's in their eyeshadow palette. Yeah, so they're the mini pan yeah, yeah. so it's if eyeshadow i didn't size. have sixty thousand highlighters would try I would probably They've buy actually them. got nice Yeah, they do. Yeah. They do. Then they've got the Small Glow Mini Set. It looks like it's got two lip products 
and also a highlighter and the new Chia mini set, which has a lip product, maybe a highlighter and a spray. Yeah. It's a blush lighter. Right. So it's a coral pink with a golden sheen. So blush highlighter Pretty. thing. Yeah. Then we have two ornaments, the Rodeo Drive highlighter in an ornament. It's a mini $16 and also the Pillow Talk highlighter in an ornament $16. These are very popular shades. Seen them a hundred times. So the only real, like I think the duos look nice. Yeah. Um, and the only real new thing is the shade of the bronzer. Yeah. Available now. From OPI, we have a collection with Hello Kitty. This has got to be like their hundredth collection of Hello Kitty. I think so. But it's in celebration of Hello Kitty's 45th birthday for the holiday season. I actually (laughs) remember when there was a big deal five years ago for the 40th birthday. Uh, There we go. So fun. Uh, But essentially there are 15 nail polishes um, and a return of Let's Be Friends from their 2016 collection. Um, they're coming in two finishes. So there's the Nail Lacquer and the Infinite Shine. And then there are some mini packs. There's a Hello Kitty Nail Lacquer Advent Calendar. I'm going to try to find the image for this, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, there's also a little ornament and a 10 piece gift set. I will try to find the photos for them. I had no luck yesterday, but maybe I'll get lucky over the next couple of days. Today's a new day. It is. All right. We've got, um, this is sort of an update, sort of not. So we found out that the quads that we talked about from Pat McGrath, um, we did say that they were holiday releases and we're like, there's going to be more coming. And Mm -hmm. there is. So we've seen the quads and also the repackaged lipstick shades that sort of match the quads. But we've also seen new um, lip balms. So Mm. these are the Lip Fetish lip balms and they're like the Lip Fetish Noir. So these are $40 each. Mm. They're brand new shades. They're Pat McGrath website exclusive as far as I'm aware. Hopefully not, because Haley wants to pick them up somewhere else. I do. Yeah. Um, and they've got like limited edition black matte packaging. So there's two shades, Noir, which is an opaque ebony, um, and an astral blue star, which is a glittering iridescent. Now, pick the thing that's wrong about that. <laughs> do we know what the word opaque means? No. Well, Pat McGrath doesn't, <laughs> because that is a sheer grey lip balm, which actually looks very nice on like hey hey yeah. hang on it's opaque as a bullet <laughs> <laughs> look good save good in the bullet it's opaque you're we're right trying to help you out here pat yeah pat but we're I, trying to help you it's sheer. i gotta say a lot, of, fuck. a lot of these brands they make life very difficult for us <laughs> yeah, they true. make it very difficult for us to be nice to them because yeah. we do not suffer fools lightly that's true that's true. However, I want the fuck out of these. Yeah, so they do, They give like a gloss with a slight cool toned tint to mm. them. So the Noir one that's supposed to be opaque, you can barely see the colour, but it adds a little greyish tint to the lip. Yeah. Um, and then the other one that's more blue toned, it looks like it adds a bit of a iridescent blue shimmer to mm. the lips. So these are kind of fun. I wonder if these will make me as beautiful as the people Probably in the not. images. <laughs> They look, they could be flattering. They if it could is be. just on the website, it's hard to tell. Yeah. These I, are things that if you're gonna drop forty US dollars, I think it's like sixty eight Australian dollars mm-hmm. or something, plus shipping. If you're yeah. gonna do that, you sort of wanna see them in person to make yeah. sure you wanna buy yeah. a frosty blue. I wanna see gloss. these on people who aren't going to edit their photos to the point where they're not even real anymore. Yeah. Like I'm I'm gonna wait until I see people using these. Like obviously not in person, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, I but I'm interested. Yeah. I, and I love like I love these for many different reasons. The packaging, they look interesting and different. Um they look nice on the lips, but you know, that's we just discussed. It's marketing. That. It's it hard is. to tell. Yeah. Um but yeah, I'm like, I'm You're interested. interested. That's I fair. Um, they're also releasing um, these Chroma Lux Highlight Creams. So once again, Pat McGrath exclusive. They're 35 US dollars each and they're a gel cream highlighter. 
So um, it's for the eyes and face. There's two shades, pale gold, which is sparkling gold, and astral blue star, which is a brilliant blue iridescence. So um, they look kind of fun. They They're do. in like toothpaste tubes. I think that packaging is the worst possible packaging for makeup. Because yeah. once you start to squeeze it, I can guarantee you... You are going to squeeze that tube too hard for like the first two or three months of using it and you're just going to have product oozing out every time you open that yeah. tub. You're going to like get product off can't... the lid and then you're going to have to try and get, yeah. it, get it back on really quickly. Because normal tubes that aren't metal, like these might not be metal, but they, they look not, metal. They look metal. They look metal. Um, metal tubes, because once you squeeze them, it doesn't flow back into yeah. the tube. Plastic ones, because there's air pockets and whatnot, and it's very um, malleable, uh, the product it goes the back. Product back in. Yeah, yeah, whereas metal tubes don't do that. Also, if you're a bit rough like I am, I've got a hand cream that I'm using up specifically <laughs> because I squeezed it too hard and I cracked it. <laughs> yeah. So at the back, like, at, um, like on the side of the metal part, um, I just have hand cream coming out yeah. everywhere. So I have yeah. to use it. So yeah, you've got to be careful with be this really sort careful. of packaging. Like yeah. it's, you know, it... It's good if you are prepared and you know to be gentle with it and only squeeze it a little bit and be patient for the product to come out and all that stuff. But if you are none of those things, it's a nightmare. But the swatches look really pretty. They do. They, they look, look pretty. nice in the eye as well. All right. Physicians Formula have released a few packs. These look like they're probably holiday packs. Um, so let's just run through them quickly. So the first one is the Color Me Healthy lip kit so that is, that is massive for 14.99 so these are mini and then also a large transformer so it's like a glittery shimmery topper so it contains 13 mini lip velvet li liquid lipsticks um in nudes heaps of pinks reds and sort of like some deeper probably shades. the whole range <laughs> probably the whole range so but 14.99 super bloody cheap then they've got the essentials mini set this is 14.99 as well and you've got a mini uh, rose all day oil free serum a spotless illuminating primer the mineral glow pearls highlighter the healthy lip velvet liquid lipstick um, as well as the killer curves mascara then they've got this big bastard it is 39.99 <laughs> and it's the ultimate muru muru butter collection so this is a big sort of fold out pack and it's excessive it's so it's excessive just, it, it, it i don't i can't even wrap my head around why how to describe this so essentially this is a massive kit of makeup yeah. um it's i think it looks like you sort of fold it out yeah there's um five parts yeah six if you include the mirror yeah there's one that has eight bronzers in various different shades they do have warm and cool yeah, i give them that i quite like that are but you selling this to a makeup artist because i can fucking promise you they are not buying this fair this um i agree with you I agree with you. Then we have what looks like seven highlighters, twelve lip products. lip products in pans. Uh, we've got They're seven blushes. blushes, and we've got twenty-four eyeshadows in various shades of brown, murky brown, goldy brown, purpley browns, and They've two blues. Literally, just taken all of their butter formula things and yep. put them into pans in a palette. Yeah, it's it's excessive. Like if you love their formula and you want to use something like this cool but i just know personally for me i would much prefer to reach for a single bronzer than pull out this big book of stuff and then have to it put it on even, the kitchen table it's really strange but it doesn't make sense because you're not going to be able to use all of the highlighters and the bronzers no. it's no. just it's strange and those lip products are going to start to go rancid. And Do you know what this looks like? Just, this looks like when you're in a store and they've got all the samples. Yeah, like, it does. Just watch it them to like see what... Fucking, it looks like a... a a uh, display yeah like oh this is the shade of the lipsticks swatch this is the sort interested. of thing that you have if you are going door to door selling physicians formula yes watch this bronzer i'm sure what it's bronzer the right suits yeah. you the most oh here buy it in the pan oh, yeah that's just... exactly what that looks like it's it's bizarre it's bizarre and i like i thought like maybe when they had their little packs that were quite clunky i thought i, I thought they were like okay. probably good value but like chunky yeah a this is a take little it bit, to an extreme but that's excessive and i just don't i feel like 
Okay, I feel like if you own a makeup brand and there is someone on your team who is conceptualizing that, you fire them. Maybe put them in a completely different position because they don't know what they're doing. Like that is out of touch. Look, I think and it's not going to elevate your brand. No, but there I feel will like be people who buy it. Yes, there will, which is fine. And if, yeah. and like I said, if people love Physicians Formula and they want to fairly affordably try a bunch of stuff, cool. But it's not, it's not travel gonna, friendly. No. It's not daily accessible. It's it's this clumsy and annoying. No. It's uh, not going to bring your brand forward and into like the no. current market where people are spending big. Do you know what I think the thing that they've done is though? I think they've almost like too much of a good thing yeah. um, is never a good thing. And yeah. I think what they've done is they've gone, okay, we had all these individual items for years. People like them, but you they, know, sell really they, they well. sold or, sold all right, but they weren't like taking us to the next level. Then we started collaborating with people and creating kits and yeah, palettes. And they sold well. And they well. were selling well. Let's, put Let's it take all it to the one. extreme and put okay. everything in a fucking fold out jigsaw puzzle. It's not. It's too much. It's, it's too much. Just, but if you have bought it and you like it, let us know. That's fine. I want to know. You're allowed to. Yeah, you're totally allowed to. It's yeah. fine. It's just, it's big. It's too it's, big. It looks like old lady kids makeup. That's exactly right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really weird. weird. It's Avon lady yes. kids makeup. More from Revolution. This is skincare though. So Revolution Skincare. Um, they actually have an Instagram account called Revolution Skincare. I know. They have about 20 Instagram accounts and it drives uh, me bananas. Help me. Um, so this is the Mattify Boost. It's a niacinamide mattifying cream. So essentially they've taken the original Hydration Boost gel cream formula and they've given people a mattifying version. So this is for people with oily and blemish prone skin who still want a hit of hydration. It's formulated with niacinamide and rosemary extract. It's available now on Revolution Beauty for £10, £10.99 Euros, and $14. US dollars. Sleek Makeup have launched a new lip range. So we have the Say It Out Loud Satin Lipsticks. These are £5.99. There's 10 shades there. You've got like pinks and reds and purples and there's even some that look kind of fluorescent. It's Look, there are some interesting shades in there. Um, then there is the Lip Volve Gloss Transforming Lip Topper in clear and also in 90s Baby and Shimmy Shimmy. So 90s Baby and Shimmy Shimmy are both, um, they add a little bit of iridescence. They are £5.99 each and they're available now on Sleek Makeup and Boots. All right, Soul Beauty, which is ColourPop's body brand, they have launched sunless tanning lotions. So um, they're pretty much just, you know, they're, they're not coloured, they're not tinted. Yeah, you don't it's not add like an a, instant colour to your skin. It's not a fake tanner. Yeah, um, but they do gradually fake tan. There's two shades available, fair to light and medium to deep. Uh, they're 16 US dollars each. They're pretty large. They're 198 0.5 grams or seven ounces. It's pretty good. They're very strongly coconut scented, bah. vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, phthalate free, mineral oil free. Um, and they're described as being the easiest tan you'll ever get. This oh. low maintenance, hydrating daily lotion creates a gradual, natural looking tan any time of the year. The color, colorless lotion develops over several days of continuous use. Uh, whether you're starting from scratch or trying to maintain your tan. So mm. it's n supposed to be um, never greasy, fast absorbing, infused with coconut, argan and marula oils for ultra soft and healthy skin. Um, so that has launched, um, you know, some people are interested. I don't mind these products. I feel like the gradual tanners, like some of them can be really good and um, develop naturally over yeah. time. So they can look really natural and nice. But I also find that if they are strong, you yeah. can wake up the next day with and, streaky yeah. ass body and yeah. you can't do anything about it. Yeah. So I prefer the ones with a tint so you know where you're applying it yeah. and you get That's the instant fair. look of, shit, I forgot to, I'm going out today, I'm wearing a skirt and my legs look pale as yeah. fuck. So these aren't my favourite thing, but if you are interested, they're available. Yeah. I don't mind these type of ones, but I agree with what you're saying. If you don't apply it evenly, yeah. 
can be a problem. Can, yeah, you wake up and you're like, whoa, yeah. or what did I just do? Or if you've got dry patches like on your elbows, you don't yeah. realise that it clings there. Yeah. yeah. Or you apply it three days in a row and you haven't been washing it off your hands at the end of application yeah. and suddenly you've got yellow palms. Yeah, I yeah. also find that sometimes if you're in the habit of moisturising every day, depending on the strength of them mm. some can like will peak at like day two yeah and then go orange at day three yes so yeah. you have to you have to know the product yeah yeah, yeah. And often you never like you can't work it out until until you made the mistake, made the mistake. Yeah, so make the mistake uh during a time when you're not worried about people seeing you that's true yeah um from sonia g we have the designer pro brush this is launching soon at beauty leash it's going to be 46 us dollars so this can look the shape of this is pretty standard face brush so you could use this to set under your eyes apply blush highlighter um whatever you want basically it's yeah, it's it, not uh, you wouldn't use it to powder your whole face. It's not big enough, but you would use it for any like colored small, work. Yeah, yeah small or like colored highlighting work. or um, yeah. setting under your eyes yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so we do have like comparisons to the rest of their or similar brushes within the Sonia G range. And I think it's an appropriate Addition. brush yeah. yeah absolutely um yeah it sort of looks like the cheek pro but like thinner and then also tapered yes yeah so these are made from goat hair um and they have an almond shape yeah i want one they're great they look lovely and they it's got a nice. red handle that's fair it's got Haley's name all over it it does or sonia no that's no. my name <laughs> All right, we've got a new fragrance from Tom Ford. This is like the sister fragrance to Soleil Blanc and it's the Soleil Neige. So it is, um, Soleil Blanc is like a warm and amber toned, supposed to be like sunshine and whatnot. And then Soleil Neige is cool citrus with floral notes. And it's supposed to mimic the shimmer of sun on snow so one oh. is supposed to be more summer one is supposed to be more winter right. um yes yeah, so the top notes bergamot carrot seed um and the heart notes are geranium orange blossom karma floor and turkish, turkish rose. rose and then the base notes are labdanum, labdanum musk benzoin ben yeah and, and vanilla. vanilla yeah and they're expensive. They are so, so 50 mils, 240 US dollars, 250 mils, 615 Ooh. US dollars. But if you Mark yeah, gold. if you wanted the mimicking of shimmer of sun on snow, <laughs> uh, you gotta pay for I it. I wouldn't even know what that smells like. I've never been to the snow. Let's go to the snow. I've only had sludge on the side of the road. I've been I to the snow you. once. I think I broke my coccyx. S smells like but mud. It was fun. <laughs> the time has come to dedicate this episode to a beauty news VIP, yep. and this week's VIP is Nikki. Nikki, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. And Nikki's been supporting us for the very long, she has. longest time possible. So we Thank very so much, much appreciate your support. We've noticed it. We it's do. been noticed. Thank you. Thank and you, Nikki. Uh, if you guys made it to the end, it's going to be Shimmer of the Sun on the Snow <laughs> on the Mountains. Something like that. So if you can find a note <laughs> like that, go for it. Just go ham with yeah, the good luck. shimmering sun on snow. <laughs> Mountains. Hell. Yeah. And I, just, I threw in mountains myself. It Look at what these, these brands do to That's us. That's how they make you spend the, the $615. Absolutely. Maybe. No, I'm not buying it. No, nah, mate. But it does sound like not it could be time. nice. It does. <laughs> I don't know. I'll smell it and yeah. while I'm there, I'll spray it on me. And then I'll walk away. But I am not paying $615 yeah. US I, dollars I for that. no sucker. I ain't no, no mate. sucker. No. All right. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.